All right, so DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 has been out of beta and on full release for a few weeks now. And while everybody else is talking about the AI voice convert, which although looks like a fantastic tool and I could see myself using it for certain things, there are five things which make a much bigger difference, at least to me personally, that I'm gonna go over with you guys today. All right, so number one is the keyframe editor. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, you get a nice big area on the top left there where you can edit those keyframes and really get the handles and make it all nice and smooth. All right, number two is the vertical video workspace. Something now, you can have that in DaVinci and you can have it all down one side. It just makes life on vertical video editing that much sweeter. Alrighty, so number three, beat edit detection. Is you just right click on there, choose that you want it to detect all the beats. It puts a marker where all of the beats are. And the best part is if you've got your snapping on, when you're adjusting clips, it, will, it can snap straight to those beat markers. So yeah, makes life much easier. So number four is just now the fact that when you are copying and pasting attributes between clips, which I seem to do quite a lot, it automatically selects the attributes from the clip which you copied when you go to paste it onto a new clip. This just saves time and it also means that I don't have to remember which attributes I had on that clip and I now need to click to make it the same on this clip. All right, last but not least, number five is the AI Music Edit Tool. This is something they've had in Premiere Pro for a long time and now finally we've got it in DaVinci Resolve. It just makes life so much easier. You've got a 30 second video, and but your music track is two and a half minutes long. Before you'd have to have gone through and find out where is the perfect place to cut, that it's not gonna sound weird, add some crossfades to make it sound like one cohesive track. And it would, it's not super hard, but it, would, it took you a reasonable amount of time. Now, click of a button almost, and the AI can do it for you. Right, so after all that, there is still one thing which really irks me about DaVinci Resolve, and it's something which I've said from the start, I really would like, and I don't know why, this basic feature has not been put in. And it is the ability to have those rulers, those like lines on the horizontal and vertical axis, which you can just drag onto your frame, drag onto the, the, the viewer, and then as you go through the entire timeline, they just stay in the same place. If they add that, Pretty much perfect software for me.